So we all know last week, as Gawker said, Donald Trump owned Paul Ryan and John McCain harder than he owned those babies at his rally. And what happened was, was Donald Trump, rightfully so, frankly, was reminded that Paul Ryan has taken an awful long time to endorse him. So when they asked him, will you endorse Paul Ryan and return the favor that Paul Ryan finally gave you? Donald Trump said, I'm not quite there yet, which is exactly what Paul Ryan said about Donald Trump. And it was another moment that reminded me of why I find him entertaining. But now clearly in this past week, I've never seen Donald Trump look this sad and defeated. I mean, clearly he stopped insulting the Khan family. He looks like he's on some type of like sedative. And now he's going to come out and he's going to endorse Paul Ryan and John McCain and Kelly Ayotte. Let me tell you something. To be compassionate to this guy here, if I was in a position where I was forced to give a press conference where I said that I endorsed Paul Ryan, John McCain, and Kelly Ayotte, I might sound this sad and low energy myself. I support and endorse <laughs> our Speaker of the Sincerity. House, Paul <laughs> Ryan. Two thumbs up. Paul Ryan. Good. He's a good man. He's a good man and he's a good guy. And we may disagree on a couple of things, but mostly we agree and we're going to get it done and we're going to do a lot of wonderful things. He's a good man. And while I'm at it, I hold in the highest esteem Senator John McCain. Pause it. No, you don't. Go back. For his service to our country in uniform and in public office. And I fully support and endorse his reelection. Very important. <laughs> we'll work together. <laughs> I also fully support and endorse. Senator Kelly Ayotte of New Hampshire. A state I truly love, primarily because that was my first victory, but I love New Hampshire. <laughs> All right, I want to say last five seconds, not low energy. He bounced back a little bit. I thought that was great. Well, I thought it was, it was about fantastic. Him. I thought he did a great job. Number two, I like how he did it. Like It's like he did it like a little kid being like, I'll just eat all of the spinach at once, okay? Fine. Paul Ryan, what's next? This is the worst food ever. I hate you, Paul Manafort. Number three, what kind of date night did he have with Ivanka in order to give those endorsements? It must have been fantastic. He is reading directly off of paper it's ridiculous he's only doing a teleprompter he this is obama Wh for a teleprompter he's like hey someone printed out he was using uh, teleprompters and i mean i'm not i'll enjoy it but I, I am not using a teleprompter i bet you i bet you that was on like official rnc stationery <laughs> also kelly art who is a nice lady you see like he's reading he's like but seriously John McCain just hung out in Vietnam for five years. He did nothing. I, I love what, Kelly. What aren't you people understanding? I love Kelly Ayad. I didn't even know New Hampshire was a state until I won it. Yeah, I didn't even know. I mean, Kelly Ayad, apparently, I mean, it's New Hampshire. They voted for me and they Thought voted it was for Canada. her. So she can't be all bad. I mean, I guess she's a seven by seven at standards. I mean, all right, fine. I'll do it. Um, Eric, uh, Eric Cuckholder. I was just visiting... <laughs> just I was just visiting Western PA and I saw one Hillary yard sign for every six Trump yard signs. But best of all, though, was the Trump sign with the T and the P darkened out. That's great. Doug, Iran executes scientists who gave U.S. nuclear information on August 8th, 2000. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed, subscribe to our podcast, like us on Facebook, and just generally enjoy us.